Hello there, here and today we're going to play Locked Out. This is a kinetic visual novel, around 30 to 50 minutes, which will probably be an hour more, maybe, for me? I'm not really sure, but it's kinetic, so at least we know there's only one ending. Unless that's not what kinetic means. It, it's probably what kinetic means, honestly. Anyway, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, I forgot how to say yes. That's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, yes, we are here to play the game, which is obvious, which is, I shouldn't have mentioned that. Uh, let's start. About. You know what? Yeah. Art story and music by Slowly P. Interesting. This is their first visual novel, so that's very neat, huh? Start. Sound. Sally. It's so freaking cold. I can't wait to get back home and take a long hot shower. You really should have checked today's weather forecast. Are you. Okay, that's the title of the game, Lockout. Oh, oh my god, okay. It was much colder than expected and had been snowing since late morning, covering the city in a white blanket. The regret for your fashion choices hit you on the way home from work. Your sneakers are not made to walk in snow. Whoop, sleep. Bad bitches don't get cold. <laughs> your best friend would probably say. That's not true, bad bitches don't get cold. But at the moment, you certainly didn't feel like one of them. Human popsicle would suit you better. Luckily, you were almost back home. You could already see the small building where you live. When you reach the stairs, you tried to clean the salt of your shoes before going up. There were only six apartments in the building, three on the ground floor and three on the upper one. The apartment was upstairs, the 202 in the middle. Ah, interesting. The angle is kinda... kinda feels... terrifying. It wasn't a big place, but it was more than enough for you. The rain was great. It was a calm neighborhood. You enjoyed living there. I'm, I would not be surprised if this is a horror story. And now, in this freezing night, it was your warm little piece of heaven. Huh? Where are they? Oh no. When you open your bag and reach for your keys, you couldn't find them. Pocket mirror, wallet, tissues, cereal bar, gel pens, empty hands and desert bottle, bills from last week groceries. So true. There was so much stuff inside your bag, no wonder you couldn't find one you needed. Sally, come on! It doesn't feel good to have your hand out of the warm pockets of your jacket. Pushing the unnecessary thing aside, opening and closing zipper, checking the same place three times, no sign of the keys. A cold sensation hit your stomach, you tried to brush it off. That cannot be, did I leave then at work? The thought of having to go all the way back to the bar where you work at exhausted you. Oh man. You just wanted to enter your home. You took a deep breath. Panicking wouldn't help you. Uh huh. Panicking. Okay, think. Stopping this search for a moment, you try to retrace your steps from this morning. I've only opened this bag a few times today. I took my phone out, got my wallet to pay for lunch at the cafeteria. If something had fallen off my back, it probably I probably have noticed it. But if they are not here, then where? Mm hmm. Where will realization? Three. Two. Day B. One. No. Okay, no. Okay. Your eyes travel to your door, more specific specifically to your lock. Oh, is it still inside the house? You've got to be- You've got to be fucking kidding me. Dropping your back down the floor, you stop. It was sudden, suddenly obvious. You know why your kids weren't with you? They were still in the lock, instead of the apartment. Earlier today, you needed to run to not miss your first train. You had an important presentation for one of your classes and couldn't afford arriving late for it. I'm actually late for my class today, but don't let anyone. <laughs> hey, I set the alarm, but because I was so tired, I wake up and was like, Oh, it's already been an hour late. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna stay home then. So you unlock the door, put on the shoes that stood outside, and storm out without looking back. The door slammed shut behind you, and in this rush, you simply forget to take the keys back from the lock before going away. Shit, I can't believe it. How can I be this stupid? You wanted to punch a wall, this solution could have been easily prevented. Your lack of tension made you furious at yourself. You could try to punch the door, or maybe it opened. But a shiver running down your spine brought you back to reality. You needed to think of a solution and quick. You could be mad at yourself later when you're not outside and freezing. What now? Your spare kids were outside in your apartment, somewhere in a drawer in your bedroom. Until that moment, you had never used them or given them to someone you trusted. Another mistake. 
It was too late to call the landlord for help. You surely didn't want to disturb him at such a time, and it wouldn't very, wouldn't be very nasty if he did so. Maybe the credit card trick. But no. You remember hearing Daddy Cortez slapping a card in between the door and the frame to unlock it. That might help. Uh, getting a while to grab a random old card that you no longer use, screwing up your actual bank card for this way to risk. Yeah. Who would have thought that keeping junk like this in my world would come in handy one day? But I definitely did to get rid of some, some, of some old stuff. And full of hope, you put the card in the gap. Please work. You move it around with difficulty, try to wiggle it, push on it. You tried and tried. The card was even banned afterwards, the lock didn't budge too. It did nothing. Huh. A defeated scythe came from you. You know the locks were good. After someone had tried to break into one of your neighbor from a year ago, the landlord- What? Okay. The landlord had made the building more secure. It made it feel safer to live there, but ironically, now you find yourself wishing it was easier to break in. The only late thing left to do seems to be calling locks. That's going to be so damn expensive. Taking your phone out, you did a quick search online. A few numbers came up. You decided to call the first one. It rang and rang. No answer. So I tried the second one. Come on. Apparently it didn't even exist anymore. Ooh, ooh, I love the detail with the sound. But your relief less number seems to be available. It rang, it rang and after a few long ten seconds, someone picked up. Aha. Uh -huh. You talk to a woman and briefly explain the situation. She said there was a locksmith who could come to your place. But due to the wet weather and the fact that your apartment is basically on the other side of town, it will take around an hour to an hour and a half for him to arrive. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your night. Oh, no. Now what are we going to do? Likewise. Hang up the phone after arranging the, ser arranging the service. You crouch on the floor. Your hands were ice cold. The thought of waiting out there for so long sounded terrible. Knock on your neighbor? But where else would you go? The places that could still be open at the very time were mostly in the city center. The shops nearby were already closed, except for a small 24-7 convenience store that you didn't really like going to- A girl, you're going to freeze to death if you're staying outside to school there. Oh, okay, that explains it. The guy who worked the night shift there had a very weird vibe. The few times he went there after work to buy a snack, you regretted it. Okay, that's understandable now. You're pretty sure he had already killed a man. <laughs> no. Wondering if you're going to be to someone's place would be a viable option at the time you think of Mr. S Mrs. Lima. Ooh, what's this? Odd. That advanced story. This? Ooh. Classic Granby stuff, but I love the ar arrangement of stuff here. She was. Was one of the neighbors who lived downstairs, a lovely older lady who definitely invited you to come in even though it was so late. If only she were home. In winter, she would escape the cold and travel to the country where she was born and raised to visit some of the families who lived there. While you were deep in the snow, it was warm enough to walk down the strips in flip-flops and a short sleeves shirt in her, her, in her hometown. You were a little jealous as you thought about how nice it would be if it were warm right now. You also wished that your best friend lived closer to you. She would love to help you too. Maybe I deserve this. Mm, crying. It can only be some kind of punishment or... No, it's not. Sally? A familiar voice suddenly spoke and caught your attention, breaking your dramatic moment. Hello. What are you carrying there? Are you going to talk? Am I supposed to press? I'm supposed to press. When you look up and meet his gaze, you recognize the young man standing there before you. Kian, the new neighbor? He'd been living in the building for around a month, in one of the apartments next to your horse. He never seems after you and the other neighbors to be here, uh, since then you've met him met a few times in the hallway. Even though he hadn't talked much yet, he was always very nice. The serious expression he usually had on his face always changed to a sweet smile when he greeted you. Now though, his face showed a certain curiosity. Hey. Pick up your bag from before you get back up, even now standing in front of him, he was much taller than you. He looked under the closed plastic packet that he carried. It looked like garbage. He wants to throw the trash out and I'm blocking the way. Sorry, let me move. Taking a quick step to the side, you made a way for him to walk through, but he remained in the same spot. Uh, no, it's all good. I just wanted to ask if everything's alright. 
The surprise of being approached in the hallway almost made you forget for a second why you were still outside your apartment. You can blame his confusion by seeing you crash down in the middle of the hallway like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crying. Part of you didn't want to share what had happened, but you didn't have enough energy to come up with an excuse to explain your situation. So you just said it straight away. Oh, sorry. Ow. 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 Be right back. Ow. Sorry, I was like sitting around right and moving around my leg and somehow I, I don't know, I, I kind of stretch something wrong and it hurts so bad. Ow. <laughs> I, th I think it's fine now. Let's go to you, shall we? I'm locked out. Uh, have you lost your keys? No, they're inside. Still unlocked. Listening them would be probably been worse, but even it sounded stupid enough to say out loud that you had locked yourself out. A brilliant move, I know. It didn't happen to anyone. Don't be so harsh on yourself. Oh, I mean, no, but I want to be the Einstein of locking myself out. You need help? A nice turn house kick directly to my lock would be cool. I'm afraid I've stopped going to my talk when the practice is too early. The chocolate and you couldn't help but smell a little. I've called a locksmith and he's coming over, but thanks, thank you for asking. Is it more, much more cheaper to hire a locksmith? Or is it much more cheaper to hire someone to fix the door once you try to break in? I actually wonder about it. Oh. I just wish he would arrive faster. I was told it's gonna take more than one hour to come here and until then I may be frozen. I spoke and I shiver and up your back. But are you going to wait out here for him? I don't know yet. I could go to the convenience store around the corner, sit down there and wait. But that dude who works there, uh, yeah. It's pretty creepy. Exactly, you have noticed it too, right? I'm still figuring out to do. He'll look at you for a couple of seconds as if you can start something. Would you like to come in and wait for a locksmith at my place? Huh? He said he'll take a while to come. You can see in my, my apartment and warm up until he's here. Is he really inviting me in? What are you, a vampire? Yes. Sorry. You don't expect him to suggest that, and the thug caused a warm sensation to spread across your cheeks. It's already real late. You probably want to get sleep or have something else to do. I'll make extremely important three in the morning. Plans can be put off until later. Don't worry. It's really fine. I wasn't going to sleep right now, anyways. However, if you don't feel comfortable coming in and that's the problem, I completely understand. Feel free to decline. Oh man. The concept of going to a stranger's house so late didn't suit you. But he wasn't really a stranger, was he? You don't know each other that well, but he lived in the apartment little, little next to yours and he seems like a nice person. There's no reason to deny a nice invitation like that, especially when you truly didn't want to stay outside with that weather. Not to say that he was also very charming. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Girl, I can like totally see that from the way you talked before. <laughs> okay, you're you're literally like gushing out a bunch of uh, what do you call it? Thirst? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the word. I don't know if there's a more suitable word. It's really not a problem. I would like that. Thank you very much, Ken. Don't mention it. I just need to bring this downstairs if you don't mind. I left the garbage bag that was he was still holding. Would you like to go inside already? I can open the door for you and I will be back in a second. I can just wait here, it's okay. He nodded and quickly went downstairs. Hmm. Elevator music. There's no elevator, but there's elevator music. Oh, I should press. After he put it back in one of the garbage can next to the building, he walked back up. He had a small bottle of keys from the pocket of his jacket and grabbed one of them. He stood a little awkwardly next to him as he waited for the door to be open. From the proximity to him, you could see his dark green hair decorated with several snowflakes from his quick trip to the ground floor. It looked beautiful. <laughs> Trying not to stare, you look away. Uh -huh. After unlocking the door, he turned to you and gestured for you to enter first. Please. Ah. Ace of Spades. As he walked into his apartment, the first thing you noticed was how warm it was, so comfortable, in contrast to the cold outside. There was also a very good smell in the air, you didn't know exa exactly what it was, but it was sweet. Kim took off his shoes and left them neatly in the entryway, hanging his ticket afterwards. Oh, scented candles. He put his keys on a small tray, it looked like it was made out of blue crystal. He bent down to take care of your snow damn sneakers, feeling relieved to finally get rid of them. 
Should I leave my shoes outside? They're a little wet. You can just put yours next to mine. You did as he suggested and put your jacket away as well. Turning around, you took a look at his apartment. Oh, cozy. Oh, my. Ugh, oh, stylish to spot. It was the same size as yours and the same layout. I thought the way he arranged the furniture made the space seem a little larger. Let's make yourself at home. You thank him with a nod and sat on the sofa. You can sit on another side giving you plenty of room to yourself. You didn't mind me asking, why are you still awake? Usually most people are asleep by now. You didn't have to avoid sounds before it even started. For a second, he seems a little surprised that you had started the conversation with question about him. Oh, that's... Are those little tiny Russian dolls in the in the shelves? Hmm. Let's let's just say that Mr. Breathem isn't the best. I often have insomnia, and today is one of the same imagine. Yep. At the beginning, it really, it really bothered me, but I've learned to deal with it well over the years. Instead of struggling for hours during sleep, I just go to and do other things until I feel tired. Which turns out to be useful for my work, I end up finishing a lot of projects when I can sleep. Over the years, he said, I can imagine having him sunny for so long. I'm always very irritated when I can sleep and feel like crap the next day. I think the only good thing about staying awake is that at night everything feels slower and calmer. The peace at night is indeed nice. But why do you use this time when you can sleep to work? Do you work every time in the early hours? What do you work with? You realize how no see you sounded, but your curiosity was great. He chuckled at the bombardment of questions. Oh. oh no! 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 I'm a video editor. Uh, bless your soul. No. I don't know. I don't know what to say to you, but wow. You're so brave. <laughs> the pain. The pain of video editing. The pain of getting a job for video editing. Here's your eyebrows. Some of the projects are more complex, others search our deadline, so that extra strength is welcome. I finished several jobs when I couldn't sleep. I see. What kind of videos do you work on? A bit of everything, really. I've worked on music videos, short films, production for events. As a freelancer, I'm open to different proposals. That's actually very cool. You look like you work with something creative. I thought you'd say I was more of a computer sense guy or so. Well, that to be, but... What you do know is already sound fitting for some reason. <laughs> do you like your job? Yeah. Yes. Sometimes it's a bit stressful, of course. Dealing with difficult clients can test your patience. Test your mind. But it's generally very fun. Unlike being able to use my creativity. If you don't know what the reference is that I just said, it's a Mortal Kombat reference. Test your mind. Test your patience. If you like, I can show you something that I've edited later. Sure, I would love to see it. I wonder if you ever work on something that I've seen before. Sounds exciting. What about you? What do you do? If someone asks you this question in the presence of your mother, the situation will have been a little awkward. They're saying that you work in a bar. Sounds like you're telling people you're a stripper. <laughs> I'm a drinks to customer from the counter. Mom, fuck you. I'm a stripper, okay? There was absolutely nothing wrong with the job, it paid your bills and nothing weird ever happened to you there. I'm a bartender at a lemon ginger downtown. The perfect job for someone who doesn't drink alcohol. So you haven't tried the drinks you make? Uh, you know... You make the drink, you don't taste the drink. I used to when I was learning how to mix them, nowadays I don't. Please tell me you can do cold tricks while mixing. You shall see me juggling the liquor bottles. <laughs> wow. He laughs, seeming satisfied with your response. And I'm also studying journalism at Seren University. Hmm. You look like you make a good journalist. Thank you, my nine years old self was looking forward to it. My nine years old self probably had other plans for myself. There's a smile on his face, but he looked, felt like it sounded a little off somehow. Before I had a chance to think more about it, he suddenly stood up from the couch. I'm sorry, what a bad host I am. I haven't offered you anything yet. That's totally fine. Would you like something to drink? Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Sure, I love coffee, but I know tea will be great. What do you like? Oh, I love the atmosphere of the game. The music, mm, that's so relaxing. What do you like? A fennel, chamomile, mint, wild berries, the last flavor is, is my favorite. Wild berries, huh? 
12 bears will be great. Alright, I'll be right back. As he headed for the kitchen and you were alone in the living room, you couldn't help but yawn. It's such a long day. The tiredness seems to become heavier by the minute. Around this time, I would have hot, such a hot shower, or even better bath, and be in my pajamas under the blanket. I miss my bed. It seems that being locked out of your apartment intensified the desire to be there even more. You shook your head to yourself. While you were waiting for a key and your main sit, sit on the couch, but your eyes wandered around in his living room, exploring a little. The lights you had at the entrance living room and the small dining room created such a nice ambiance. Yes, I love it. The atmosphere, the combination of the music and the art. Oh, nice. You didn't expect to see how organized everything was. Can't splice through the stereotype of guys' apartment being easy out of the window. What? what what's wrong with guys? What? <laughs> and it even made you feel a bit ashamed of your apartment. Man, I only did some deep cleaning this weekend. Oh, no, you, you're perfect the way you are, okay? You remember that even two months after moving into your new part place, there were still things to tidy up, furniture, and plans to buy. At the time, you had just moved out of your parents' house and barely had enough money to support yourself. It wasn't easy, but for the sake of your inner peace and freedom for your parents' overbearing control, you'll do it all over again. Oh, yeah. That's that's a beautiful dream. And while lost in your thoughts, you look at one of his bookshelves. He wondered what he liked to read. No way! In one of the shelves, a particular object caught your, uh, your eye. Your eye widened in surprise when you saw a little Matroshka doll there. Oh yeah, I was like mentioning that. You couldn't see it up close because you were still on the couch, but from where you were sitting, it looked very similar to the one you have on your nightstand. She's just like me, Angelina. The little doll was surprised to you that you gave her a name. She was a gift from your grandmother from one of her trips many years ago. One of your most beloved objects in the world, and your nightbot have her ha nightbot happened to have one too. What a coincidence. The sun approaching footsteps when you turn your face in the direction and you saw Kian come back into the room. Oh, that's nice. He gets carefully pressed the teapot and two cups on the coffee table and turned to you. The sweet aroma of tea filled the air. Sugar? Y yeah. Sorry, that actually hits me. Wow, that that's a good race. Yes? I mean, no, no thanks. Do you? Uh, yeah. See the the it, it it also hits you. That's what I was doing. They're they're doing a good good job here at making invoking the emotion. That's crazy. He took the pot and delicately poured the tea into pork and cups. What a wonderful smell! Very nice, isn't it? I was drinking it when I'm working late. Funny how I didn't drink, drink tea before. I only started when I got uni in the union. Gradually came to love it. You remark observing the steam rising from the dark liquid. I've always loved it. Be careful to one of the cops. But it can take time to fall in love with something different than what you're used to. He held the cup for you on a saucer looking eyes blocking eyes with you. Stop it, pl please. You blink. The way he spoke and looked at you You felt your face becoming warmer. Y yeah, I was No, stop. Receiving the tea with the correct things, you look away from him before you lost your cool. Did he flare with you? Did he, huh? Man, that wasn't it. Pull your sh- Pull your sh- Pull your sh- Get her <laughs> Sally. Sally. Please. Please. You need, you need to be a strong bad bitch, okay? Pull, pull the shit together. Pull your shit together. Trying your best to ignore the warm on your face and the quicker pounce on your chest, you focus on the cup in front of you. The hot beverage had a beautiful, intense reddish purple color you sip tentatively. Hmm, yeah. It is even more delicious than it smells. I'm glad you like it. I prepared a blend of herbs and fruit myself. No fucking way you blend your own tea. So you can mix drinks and I can make my own tea. Touché. Another one of my late night activities. Whatever I did in insomnia you have. Not always, but thank you. I can prepare a package for you if you like. Normally, this will be a situation where you say, don't worry about it, out of politeness, but it was so delicious you actually want to have more of it later. I love you. As the two of you keep talking, you didn't even feel the time passing by. Ken was a greater company than expected, and you found yourself you didn't having fun just drinking tea together and chatting. It was easy to talk to you. You like that. Is the, is the person, like, locked outside right now? He told you a little about his story and how he came to life there, which made you intrigued to know more about his past. 
And before you know it, you open up a smile. You told him how you decided to study journalism, although your parents weren't happy with the decision. And you shared your vision about doing what you truly want, even at the cost of not fulfilling other expectations. Oh, yeah. You wonder if he has some trouble with, with his family, if, if he even had a family. Everyone has trouble with their families. <laughs> Nowadays, everyone does. Family sucks, right? But then, even though you weren't joining the conversation, you felt very tired. To the point that you felt your eyes heavier by the minute. Sally? Yeah? Would you excuse me for a minute and it is the bathroom? Of course. I see when away you press your palms against your face. Stay awake, the locksmith will finally be here soon. You know, I have a little dope going around. I didn't check the genre of the visual novel. I hope it all ends well, right? However, Turner seems to be much stronger than your real power at the moment. You wonder why his couch was comfortable, why you felt yourself slightly sinking in your sleep. And it is just how quick and, quick and feels when you get happy in it. Then for just a second you close your eyes, drifting away before you could even notice. Yes? Waiting anxiously? But that didn't feel right. You shall not be sleeping. Wake up, Sally. You slowly open your eyes, feeling groggy. You're feeling the same as when you take a nap after school as a child and wake up at night completely disoriented. You need a little time to fully come back to your sense and remember where you are. Where? Did you have a bunch of missed calls? Can't place. My keys. My keys! The locksmith. The locksmith? You made a search for your phone to see what time it was. As you grab it and turn the screen, your eyes went wide. Yep, you had passed out for two hours. Two entire hours. That called Dimitri. In a jam, you got back to your feet looking around for Kian. And with perfect timing, your neighbor showed up at the living room looking as if he'd just come from the kitchen. Kian, the locksmith, I fell asleep and... You guys probably already gone. I wasn't there. There was nobody there and he must have gone away. Did you take care of it, Kian? Sally. What am I supposed to do now? Call somebody with all of our game? Sally, please calm down. People said the cup he was holding and walk over to you. Don't worry, I've already taken care of it. You what? When he arrived, I was there, so I talked to him myself. The service is already done, we got your keys back. Woo! He went to the restaurant in the hallway in front of the blue tray where he keeps his apartment keys, he took something else. And walking back to you, he put it in your hands. Oh, that's so cute. You looked and inspect what you had just received. Seeing the family keychain, there was no doubt that those, those were your keys. You finally had them back. Oh my god, thank you so much. But I don't understand, you work it out by yourself? Why didn't you wake me up? You were sleeping. I mean, shit, I'm sorry, I'm not saying it was your duty to wake me up. I should have fallen asleep in here in the first place. That's absolutely stupid, I don't know what happened to me, I was so tired. It's... That's, that's so embarrassing. Hey, hey, it's all perfectly fine, don't stress over it. Yeah, true. I know how tired you were earlier, so when I came back to the room and saw you, I couldn't bring myself to wake you up. I think it'll be... Fair to let you get some rest. Sir, that didn't call you when the last time arrived. You take a deep breath to collect yourself. You shouldn't be apologizing, I'm the one who's, who actually caused this. You've done a lot to help me. I really appreciate it. Falling asleep on your night about coach the first time you visited him wasn't necessarily how you wanted things to go. But it seems like everything was out of your control tonight. I hope the surface was at least quick and... Oh my god. You paid a guy yourself, didn't you? How much did he charge you? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you had to deal with this. Please tell me how much I owe you. He just chuckled. Don't worry, it wasn't that expensive. Alright, but how much was it? You don't need to worry about it. Huh? No, come on, can't tell me. I need to pay you. You don't need to. The one who invites pays, it's a clear rule. Is it? What the heck is this supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna let you pay for a locksmith. This, this makes no sense. You're in this place over the situation. It was your responsibility, not his. You know what? I have a better idea. You can invite me for a coffee later. Then we'll call it even. What's with that blue expression? Coffee? Like a date? And again, he caught you off guard. The way he curled up his lips and said, So nice, I'll make you first friend. <laughs> Fucking knew it, dude. And before you notice, the words made their way out of your mouth. 
Sounds nice. Then we have a deal. But wait. I just don't think it's a fair exchange. You have to drink like more than 10 coffees for me to pay you back what I owe you. Make it 20. So, yeah. Ha ha ha. I'm joking. I think it's fair enough. This guy. And before I forget, there's something else for you. They pick up a small package and hand it to you. YRT. Sally. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I should pick up some tea to give to you. It's so nice like package. Well, holding it up to get you smile. I better get going. I've already enjoyed your hospital, hospital team more than enough. Gotta make this back in even again. Now you can have your peace again. Thank you so much for helping me out. This mother to him truly grateful. It was a pleasure. Have a nice rest of your night, yeah. You too. Despite the expected nap, you still feel exhausted. Going home and sleeping on your bed was all you wanted. And you hope that with you being gone, maybe he will be able to get some sleep as well. And so you went to the entrance, grabbed your jacket and put on your shoes. They were still damp, but you didn't mind, you were almost home. When you were ready to leave, he walked the door and held it open for you. Good night, Sally. Good night, Ken. That was sweet. Despite the cold from outside, you still feel warm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Walking down the corridor to your apartment felt great. And her lift opened the door even more. Thank God. You practically kicked your sneakers off your feet, hung your jacket in the hallway, and walked inside. And going over to, re to your room, you put aside the tea you got from your nightboard before talking your phone out. Looking at the time despite the screen, you mentally calculated how long you would be able to sleep. You are not happy about the result. It made you wonder if it would be feasible to not go to your first class in the morning and get some decent sleep. And before you went to the bathroom to get yourself ready to go to bed, you stopped and took your phone again. You are thankful that Kian helped you with everything, but you still couldn't come to terms with the fact that he paid for the service. It made no sense. The idea of buying him coffee was really sweet and you were looking forward to seeing him again. But you hated the feeling of owing people money, even when they assured you that you didn't have to pay them back. I really love the pillow here. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. So the sending that you wanted to pay him back next time you need. Matt, whether you like it or not, you impulsively called the locksmith number again. The fact that if it doesn't want to tell you how much what it was, you can just find out yourself. Interesting. After a few rings, the same lady from earlier answered the phone. Is that going to be an unexpected answer? You identified yourself to her, said the locksmith service was carried out for you, but you couldn't and would like to know how much it costs. Maybe it sounded a little weird, so I told her that someone else had paid it for you. One second, please. She seems to be checking something. Ah. Well, it didn't cost anything since you cancelled the service. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so there is something going on, huh? My intuition wasn't wrong. The announcement her tone was clear. Excuse me? I must say that our guy was not happy about driving all the way there for nothing. He was already in your neighborhood when I received the call calling it off. I'm sorry, but I, I didn't understand it. He came here and opened the door and never called it off. Your boyfriend did. My boyfriend? Yes. He said that you guys had found a spare key, managed to open the door and, and that the work would no longer be necessary. Your stomach twisted. Like Mr. suggests not doing something like this again, but sure of the work being needed before you call because nobody wants to have their time wasted. Mm hmm. I understand. My sincere apologies for the inconvenience. You hung up the call. For a lingering moment, you sit in silence, holding the phone in your hand. How did they enter your apartment? Until you put it in the pocket of your pants and you walk and walk out of your bedroom. I'm shivering. <laughs> ah, this is nice. You went to where you had left your shoes, putting them on again. Your jacket stayed on the hanger, you didn't even bother taking it. And grabbing your keys, you walk out, going to Kian's apartment. Are you sure it's a good idea to confront Kian in this situation? You had to pay your neighbor a visit again earlier than you thought. You rang the doorbell. It took a moment, Kian opened his door. Hello, Kian. He stood there and looked at you with surprise before smiling. Hey! I think you'll already be sleeping. Completely ignoring what Sadie just walked into his apartment. 
Sally is suffering all. So what did you do that for? Simon confused to turned to you, trying to go look at her face. What are you talking about? Oh, you grab him by the neck and push him against the wall. I just wondered what you did with the locksmith. How the fuck did you open my door? Your fingers started to start squeezing it. Hmm. He looked like he couldn't breathe. It was a nice play that you pulled out there, really fooled me. Your voice was cold, your tone and almost unrecognizable. So sad. Realizing that you were choking him, you loosened the hold of your fingers on his neck just enough so that you could still breathe. Ah. He pulled in a sharp breath. Look, Ken, I don't know what was on your mind when you decided to do that. But I will tell you something. You could feel the warmth of his desperate breath against your skin. If you think you can pull out some kind of sick, dirty trick, stalk me, get into, your apartment, into my apartment or whatever it is that you want, think game. I sure you can destroy you. And I see if your word ignites something else in him. His eyes started to look different. Uh huh. And a sudden smile appeared on his lips. You know, Sally. That was much, much better than I expected. Huh. Interesting. I want more! What do you mean that's the end of the stories? Ah! Interesting. I love it. Uh, 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 okay, so I was going like, mm, I was going like into the mm, face of like just wondering if it is what I think it is. Of like, oh, this guy is giving me some weird vibes, and then after a while, it they he didn't do anything. So I was like, hmm, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was just being too suspicious of stuff, and then. It suddenly goes back to here, and I'm not wrong. I love that. It, it subverts my expectations, but then suddenly it does that again. Which is amazing. Okay, so locked out. I really love. I actually love the style they're going here for this. Like the main menu, the art, uh, everything, the way the story carries, and the subtle details and the dialogue and stuff. I can really feel the emotion, especially with the thirstiness, I guess, if, if that's the word. The romance, yeah, the romance is much more better. So it, the flirtiness of it. And the uh, mystery, ooh, that was excellent. But I guess that's all for Locked Out. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then, in my next video, or in the next game. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.